Hi there, this is Craig from Ottawa Swordplay. This is our fourth video on the three wounders. And today I'm going to talk about the strike or cut, depending upon how you want to translate it, how. Um, and uh, this is the third way of gaining leverage at the blade. And as I said in the previous videos, it's not really about injuring somebody. And I think that that's really important. It's a little bit more obvious given that uh, all of our strikes from whatever entry guard often are not intended to injure, they're to, intended to control straight, control space. And how is the same word that we use for those techniques as for the wounder, which is described only in the context of gaining leverage at the bind. So in the videos on the thrust and the slice, I explained how the thrust is moving your sword along a static point on your partner or opponent's blade. The slice is moving a static point of your blade along the length of your opponent's. So how does the strike fit into this context? Well, you're actually maintaining a static point of contact with their blade. So we've come to the bind here, maybe we're bound in the mid blade. Maybe I already have an advantage a little bit, but instead of slicing or thrusting, and again, I'm still going to turn into the thumb grip, so I'm using my flat but I'm just pushing directly into their source. And of course, my pal doesn't want to cooperate and lose a little bit, but I'm basically displacing directly against their blade at the point of contact that I've already established. So it's very much not a cut like the slice. Usually when I do this, I finish stabbing the other person in the face if I hit them at all. It's just about applying dir leverage directly in a line away from me on a static part of my partner's blade. That is the cut in the context of the three wounders.